Howdy partner, this is Jeff. I'm going to talk to you about the text tool in Udoodle. I truly believe this is one of the most powerful text tools on iOS, so there's a lot of things to go over, so let's dive right in. You can get to the text tool by tapping the toolbox in the bottom right. All sorts of fun stuff is in here, but we're going to focus on the text tool today. You can work with the text tool with the keyboard as normal, so let's type something fun. This app rocks. Now, the first thing you should know about text is you have text size slider to get really small or really big. You should know that if you make the size all the way to the right, then it's an auto size mode. So that's probably where you'll want to leave the size most of the time. As you make your text box bigger in your drawing, your text will auto size to fit the text box. Okay, so there's a lot of options here. First is the fill. You can change it to any of these pre-made colors. There's built-in textures, or you can use the color wheel. I like to import backgrounds for my text. If you're not sure how to use the color wheel, I've made a separate tutorial for that, so please go watch that. Let's say I want my text to be nice and lava-like. I'm going to go ahead and pick this lava texture, save it to my favorite colors, and be done. So now my text looks like lava, which is pretty awesome. You can add shine to your text. So you'll see I kind of got this nice gradient shiny look on it. I typically would leave that off unless I was using a plain color, like if I were to use blue. Now that looks a lot better and shiny, but the shine doesn't look as good with custom textures. There's a way to change the text outline. Right now the outline is white, but I want a green outline. So you can see as you slide that and release that the text adjusts to your new value. I'm going to make the outline as big as it can get. And then you see these four icons here at the bottom. You have left, center, right, and a very new coming to you doodle 5.6 circular alignment. Since the first three are pretty self-explanatory, I'm going to cover the circular alignment. This basically splats your text into a nice circle, which is really cool. And if, you, if the letters are too bunched up, you have a couple of options. You can make your size smaller, or you can drag your text area bigger. That looks pretty good. but. What you're going to probably have to do if you have a lot of text is just make it smaller so those letters don't intersect. Then you can bring the text in and get it lined up just about right. So that's a, way, a really easy way to make circular text. You can then move it around, put it over the top of another image, and then tap done, which is great. Another useful feature is to be able to insert multiple text areas at once. So if you go back to the text tool, I'm going to go back to left alignment, or center, excuse me. Put some text here. You'll see the plus button in the bottom right. This lets you add a second text layer. Second layer. So now I've got two text areas moving around at the same time. If you wanted to make a meme, you could put the top one there. You could put the bottom one there. Obviously, you'd want to change the colors and outlines and stuff but then you could just tap done and you, you would have a meme in a matter of a few seconds. Okay, let's move on to some additional text features. Um, we're going to talk about the glow. So you may have seen that on the text that I just added. So if I make a glow effect, you can see that it kind of makes this color shoot out from the text like a shadow which can then be offset if you would like to give kind of a perspective. Let's see how that looks. No, not too bad. Looks like my text has a shadow now and that there's a light sh shining on it, which is pretty cool. Another pretty cool effect is making 3D text, so I'll go ahead and do that. You just drag this slider and it will turn your text into 3D mode, which is pretty cool. 
So I've got mm, some red 3D text there. You can make it blue, whatever, whatever color you want for the 3D. Oh, that looks kind of cool. Or you can even pick a custom color like, say, pink, for example. So that's pretty interesting. And so if you've ever seen like the Superman credits, this is kind of the style of those. All right, let's wrap this up with the background capabilities. You can change the background color. You can change the text to have a border, which can then be sized here. Uh, you can give it rounded corners. And you can change the opacity of the background, which is kind of interesting. Right now, I'll leave it really low. You can kind of see that the border is a little bit translucent there. But generally, you probably want to leave the opacity on that to the full value. So you can see I've got this nice little text box with a background and a border. Pretty cool. Well, thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to follow UDoodle on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching and using the app. Please let me know if you have any questions. You can email support at udoodle.net. Thank you.